Welcome to BioMindscape. Today we are going to know about various steps of paper chromatography. It is very simple. First we have to take a chromatography paper or a filter paper, a solvent, it can be water, an alcohol, a sample mixture like a the plant pigment ink or any chemical and a beaker or a glass container, a pencil and a capillary tube or a dropper and a ruler. So first step is to prepare the paper. Take a strip of chromatography paper, draw a line, light line of 1 to 2 cm from the bottom. This is the baseline. Apply the sample. Use a capillary tube or a dropper to place the small drop of the sample mix in the pencil line. Then let it dry and repeat 2 to 3 times for concentrated spot. Then prepare the solvent. Pour a small amount of solvent into the beaker that is about 1 cm deep. Make sure the solvent level is below the sample spot. Then place the paper in the beaker. Suspend the paper vertically in a beaker with the bottom edge dipped into the solvent. The sample spot should not touch the solvent directly. Develop the chromatograph. Allow the solvent to rise up the paper by capillary action. The different components of the sample will move at different rate and separate. So, remove and dry the paper. When the solvent fr- front is near the top, remove the paper. Mark the solvent front with a pencil quickly before it evaporates. Let the paper dry and then analyze the result. So, for that, you have to measure the distance to calculate the RF value that is the retention factor. For that, we have a formula RF is equal to distance traveled by the substance upon distance traveled by the solvent. What is RF value? RF is a measure of how far a substance travel in a chromatographic system relative to the solvent front. It's a dimensionless value, means it doesn't have any unit. So it ranges typically from 0 to 1. This RF is the distance travelled by the solute upon the distance travelled by the solvent. And for example, if this solute travels 5 cm and the solvent travels 10 cm, then the RF value is 5 upon 10 that is 0.5. So the factor affecting RF is the solvent polarity, solute polarity, the stationary phase and the temperature. Thanks for watching. Do like, share and subscribe.